as Sundar said, uh, a year ago on this very stage, we introduced Google Cardboard. And our goal with Cardboard was to make virtual reality available to everyone. And so we started with a piece of cardboard, some Velcro, we added some lenses and a rubber band. And amazingly enough, that was all you needed to turn your smartphone into a fully functional VR viewer. And there's been incredible excitement about Cardboard ever since. What began as a single open design has turned into an entire ecosystem of manufacturers making cardboard in all shapes and sizes. There are over 100 apps, hundreds of apps, on the Google Play Store that are compatible with Google Cardboard, including apps from folks like Jaunt and Verse, who are actually here with us today. And people keep finding new and uh, creative uses of cardboard in VR, campus tours, uh, art shows. Uh, one guy even proposed to his girlfriend with the help of cardboard. And I'm not actually totally sure how that worked, uh, but the important thing is that she said yes. <laughs> Today, I'm proud to say there are more than one million cardboard viewers out there in the world. And it's what we dreamed about when we folded our first piece of cardboard, immersive experiences just like these for everyone. And we really couldn't have done it without your help. Everyone who folded your own cardboard, who built an app, who filmed the spherical video, thank you. Today, I'm really excited to give you a glimpse of what's next for cardboard and for our larger efforts in VR. There are three things I'd like to share. And the first of those is an improved cardboard viewer. Now, the original viewer, it was great. But phones, turns out, got a lot bigger in the last year. <laughs> and so the new design fits phones with screens as large as six inches. The, yeah, the, uh, the magnet button, if you remember, was a clever way to do input, but it didn't work on every phone. And so we've replaced it with one that does, uh, one that's actually made out of cardboard. Uh, and now, instead of it taking 12 steps to assemble, it takes just three. So viewers are on sale today from partners. And of course, if you're here at Google I.O., just like last year, you'll get one immediately after the keynote. OK, so it works with any phone. It fits any phone. The button works with every phone. But the software, the cardboard SDK, it needs to work with every phone, too. And so as of today, the cardboard SDK for Unity will support both Android and iOS. So if you're creating a VR experience and you want to bring it to everyone, you think Cardboard can help. That's the Cardboard update. Lots of manufacturing partners, hundreds of apps, over one million viewers. And it's still just a piece of Cardboard. <laughs> Second thing I want to share today is about how we're bringing VR and its unique ability to take you other places and bringing that to some place that's pretty special. And that's the classroom. Just think about your favorite field trip growing up. There's something amazing about visiting a place, seeing it up close, experiencing it with your own eyes. But of course, the school bus, it can't go everywhere. It can't go to the moon. Uh, it can't go to another country and back in a day. It can't go to the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. But VR can help take you to those places, which is why today we're excited to announce expeditions. So Expeditions lets teachers take their classes on field trips to anywhere. Here's how it works. So a box arrives with everything that you need to travel. Cardboard and phones for every student, a teacher tablet, and all of these devices are synchronized so that when the teacher chooses a place, the entire classroom jumps there together. And the response from students and teachers has just been incredible. Let's have a look. You could pick anywhere in the world that you want to go. Where would you want to go? I would like to go to the moon. Thailand. Ancient Greece. India. To Nigeria, my homeland. One or maybe all of the seven wonders of the world. When you explore different places, you have the chance to actually learn something new. You want to be able to show the kids that there's something outside of your community that you could go to and learn from and that there's other places you can visit. All right, so let's do our objective and we'll talk about the lesson for today. We're going to take a field trip to Verona, Italy to see the place where Romeo and Juliet lived. I'm going to take you on this field trip under the water. 
Okay, you guys ready? Pick up your devices and look in your cardboard. What is that? Oh, I see a shark. Whoa! Whoa! It allowed us to go somewhere we wouldn't normally be able to go. Are we in China? This is the Great Wall of China. We got to see the place itself so we could actually understand what she was talking about. How long would it take to walk the length of the Great Wall of China? So much more enriching than just showing them a picture or just having them read about it. This device can actually make us go to places that we've never been before. It brings the lesson to you. You have to see it for yourself to believe it. There's so much other places to see, so you know that it's never going to end. Thanks to an incredible group of educators, hundreds of classes all around the world have already gone on expeditions. And today, teachers who want to create their own, who want to bring expeditions to their school can sign up online. Now, we're also partnering with some amazing organizations like the Planetary Society, the American Museum of Natural History, and the Palace of Versailles to create new expeditions and bring those to schools around the world in time for back to school this fall. So that's expeditions, field trips to anywhere for every classroom. Thanks. Thank you. So the third and final thing I want to talk about is about capturing and sharing these real world experiences like the Great Wall or a coral reef in an entirely new way, one that looks and feels like you're actually there. Because the world is filled with all of these awesome places and events like Great Barrier Reefs and Golden Gate Bridges and birthday parties and mountaintops. But there's a problem. If you can't actually be there, if you want to go back to a place or a time, then your experience is pretty limited. Because cameras kind of only capture the world like this. And it's like watching a, a flat version of the world through a tiny little window. And if you want to capture something that's truly immersive, there are really only a handful of very custom camera rigs in the world that'll do the job. And even they have their limitations. We want to change that. We want to put professional, previously impossible tools in the hands of any creator who's motivated so that they can capture the world around them and then share it in a way that lets all of us jump to the top of that mountain, jump to any place or event on the planet and experience those sights and sounds like we're actually there. So today, we'd like to preview something that we call Jump. <laughs> 